with meteorologist Blaze Keller. And that system continues to impact us here across southern Wisconsin. And this is really just the beginning as the system is beginning to move off of the Rockies in the Colorado area, getting the name of Colorado low. And it's going to be pulled northeastwards through Wisconsin by the time we head into your Tuesday. And along that lifting warm front, there it is, that little lightning bolt there indicating a pretty rare event, actually thunder snow. Very similar to thunder in spring and summer, but obviously in winter we don't see it a lot. So how do we get thunder snow? You need a robust updraft, all that upward motion uh, of that air in a column of the atmosphere, charging around those those snow particles, the, the hail particles, ice as well, kind of get that static charge going. And we typically see these, especially along warm fronts where we get more of that robust updraft. So uh, this is it, extending from parts of Wisconsin all the way back south in into parts of Kansas right there, and uh, that's where we find some severe weather. So a wider picture shows severe weather threats across parts of uh, not only Nebraska and Kansas, but Oklahoma and Texas, and some of those same areas where they have a slight risk for severe weather. They got winter weather advisories, blizzard warnings there in the orange with winter storm warnings extending all the way back into northern parts of Wisconsin. A very classic mid latitude cyclone. This is a Colorado low. They typically bring us here in southern Wisconsin that heavy wet snow and even in the spring and summer times more of that severe weather threat. But thankfully, we're going to really just capitalize on the precipitation out of this rain or snow and not really see any severe weather. So that's some good news there. Winds are off of Lake Michigan out of the southeast, keeping us in those mid to upper 30s and even low 40s in some spots right now. But where we find that heavier snow, low 30s, it's 32 in Viroqua, 33 in Stevens Point, 35 in Baraboo. Watch this low pressure system just continue to move its way through the plains as we go into your Monday. A lot of green across especially southern Wisconsin, so we're going to see more of that moderate soaking all day rain on your Monday. Maybe a few thunderstorms too, but they shouldn't be severe. Even as we go into Tuesday, this low pressure system still hasn't exited the Midwest yet, but as we go further into your Tuesday, that rain as winds are mixing back down that cooler air is going to turn back over to a light kind of mix there and we'll take it from bigger picture to more closer to home for you. But we are anticipating the return of the mix as we head further into your Tuesday. So as we continue to go overnight, a lot more of that moisture is actually going to lift northwards. We may dry out briefly before that rain returns as we go into the start of your Monday. Anybody going to work tomorrow, it is most likely going to be a wet morning commute. Those darker greens sticking around throughout the day on Monday, overnight into Tuesday as well. This is also going to be uh, windy too, so visibilities could be low at times, tossing around all that rain. And then as we go again Tuesday further into the day as that cooler air returns, we might briefly see the return of that rain snow mix, but southern Wisconsin, we're really not going to see a lot of snow out of this system. We're going to see rain more of that heavier snow is going to fall across northern parts of Wisconsin, and they need it just as much as we do. But again, we are going to see that beneficial precipitation in the way of rain to the tune of about a half an inch to an inch of rain, several inches of snow off to the north, all coming together to hopefully uh, really alleviate the near 75% of the state underneath moderate drought conditions, and I believe less than 20% is underneath severe drought conditions, and a lot of northern Wisconsin is holding those severe drought conditions. So they need the snow. We'll give it to them. We'll take the rain and a little bit of snow here, especially today and maybe here for the next few hours before that turns over to rain for your Monday. And then we quiet down Thursday before we see another round of rain as we head into next weekend. A lot of precipitation this a week. A lot, yes. Take the umbrellas, um, maybe get the sub pumps ready. I don't foresee a really big flooding risk because it's going to be soaking, but uh, if you have flood prone areas, you might want to get the sub pumps going. Always better to be prepared just exactly. in case. Exactly. All right, thanks so much, Blaze.